hearts. To him who alone doeth great wonders. To him that by wisdom made the heavens. To him that stretch out the earth above the waters. To him that made great lights. The sun to rule by day. The moon and stars to rule by night. To him that smote Egypt in their firstborn. And brought out Israel from among them with a strong hand and with a stretch out arm to him which divided the Red Sea into parts and made Israel to pass through the midst of it but overthrew Pharaoh and his host in the Red Sea to him which led his people through the wilderness. To him which smote great kings. And slew famous kings. Sion king of the Amorites. And Og the king of Bashan. And gave their land for an heritage. Even an heritage unto Israel his servant, who remembered us in our low estate and had redeemed us from our enemies, who giveth food to all flesh. Oh, give thanks unto the God of heaven. Let's say um, um, verse 26 again. Oh, give thanks unto the God of heaven for his mercy endured forever. This is the word of the Lord. May we all say, thanks be to God. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, praise him. Hallelujah. Glory. We are here to worship him tonight for a life well lived. Glory to God. So let us do it in spirit and in truth. At this time, I'm going to invite Sister Lindsay, for we are sure that testimonies is in the house tonight. Glory to God. Please make a welcome as she will be doing this segment in the name of Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Can we lift our hands and bless the name of the Lord? Can we show thank you, Jesus? Can we show thank you, Jesus? Can we show thank you, Jesus? The scripture says in everything we should give. Praise God. When I get there, when I get there, I will sing and shout. When I get there,
Anybody with a testimony on this side? Hallelujah. Thank you. Jesus. Praise Him. Praise God. Testify. Praise God. Praise God.
Amen. When I get the time afterward, I say I'm going to walk around and look if I got this stuff for her. I was walking all over in Palmot. But when I saw a lady and I asked her and I show her what I want to buy, she said, that woman over there have it. But when I look over there, that lady that have it, her head wrap around and she have two pencils in both sides. And so when I walk over there, I said to her, I show her what I need. She said, I have it, it's right there, spin your roll. I said, spin my roll. I said to her, glory to God, I serve an everlasting father. I serve a king of kings. There is none like him and there is none to compare to him. He is highly lifted up and I start to worship. Because I don't know about spinning roll in Pentecost. I know about worshiping. And when I start to worship God, hallelujah, glory to God. I said to him, look at me. God has changed a thief like me. I used to come to Falmouth. I used to thief people clothes. So when you said I must spin your role, if God did not change me by the time I spin my role, offer your star gone in Jesus' name. Oh my God. Hallelujah, Jesus. And when I said it to her, glory to God, and I would start to tell him about this man, Christ Jesus. Hallelujah, glory to God. When I finished, and she to give me the bottle, she start to search for the bottle. Everything start to turn over. She start to tremble. Hallelujah. Because when demons hear, when you speak about the word of God, demons have to tremble. And everything start to turn over in the stall. She start to be confused. All the money she had given me extra change. Hallelujah. And when I finish, a lady was sitting there said to me, with church you go. I say, I know church go save you. A Jesus Christ of Nazareth that I'm telling you about, a Him go and save you. And so, as child of God, we must walk in the power of God. When we go anywhere, demons is gonna attack us, but we tell him about this man, Christ Jesus, this man that will save the world. Hallelujah! That's my Amen. testimony in Jesus' name. Amen. Go ahead. Praise the Lord, church. Praise God. I remember when I was living in sin and the police came and knock on my door that day they knock with their fist boop 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 and there was Westmoreland most wanted man in my house he said who that me say the police he said they might go kill me friend and catch me and I said they might go kill me they kick they kick they kick off the door and come in him start fire shot them start fire shot I jump in my closet and sit down but when I go back to my house and look back where I was sitting, gunshot pierced on my left, inches away. Gunshot pierced on my right. Gunshot pierced under my foot. And I remember in there and I was saying, me I go dead, me I go dead. And I was visioning my grave. And I was thinking about my mother and my little brother. And I said, me a ball and I said, me never heard if he dead, me never heard if he dead. And me hear the police, them call the call my name three times they don't call me name they say lady three times and I cry and say yes and they call the young man name then they say yo me will kill everybody around there and the young man got shot at that time and he come and lay down in my lap and he aim his gun to the, the, the closet door and it was the curtain that means when the police them come in and him fire shot them for fire shot in the direction and everybody Amen. get wet up but Jesus Jesus, yes. Jesus saved my life yes. and I am alive today Amen. and if I live for God, I shall see my God. So I'm worshiping my God because yes. I should have been in my grave, but I am alive today. Yes. Amen. In the great triumphant morning when we hear the bridegroom cry and the dead in Christ shall rise. We'll be changed from life immortal in the twinkling of an eye. And be Jesus in the sky. We shall all rise to meet him. We shall all go to greet him in the morning. With the dead in Christ shall rise. We shall all rise to meet him. We shall all go to greet him and 
shall have a mighty support in the sky. We shall all rise to meet him. We shall all go to greet him in the morning when the dead in Christ shall rise. We shall all rise to meet him. We shall all go to greet him and shall have a in the sky, we shall all rise to meet him. We shall all go to greet him in the morning when the dead in Christ shall rise. Hallelujah! We shall all rise to meet him. We shall all go to greet him and shall have our marriage supper in the sky. Everything burned down. The man said, Go ahead and take up. That's how I don't have dollar. Amen. Trust in God is good. Yes. You see, when I prove God, when I get to your lowest, yes. you want to stop save up money if you want to any time. God, God always there for you. God, yes. virgin, I don't have 
no money than 7,000 I went to Kingston and when I came down back I came down with a garbage bag full of goods look at God all we need to do is trust the man stop keep up your money if your brother or your sister hungry see them stop keep up your money because God always make a way God bless you in Jesus name I'm gonna walk on the golden street I'm gonna walk on the golden street I'm gonna walk, I'm gonna talk and dance about I wanna put on my golden shoes I'm gonna put on my golden shoes I'm gonna walk on golden street I'm gonna walk and talk and dance about I wanna put on my golden shoes I'm gonna put on my golden shoes. I'm gonna walk my golden shoes. Oh, I'm gonna walk, talk and dance about. I'm gonna put on my golden shoes. I'm gonna put on my golden shoes. I'm gonna walk on golden shoes. I'm gonna walk, talk, dance about. I'm gonna put on my golden shoes. I'm gonna put on my golden shoes. I'm gonna walk on the golden streets. I'm gonna walk, talk, dance about. I'm gonna put on my golden shoes. Gonna put on my golden shoes. I'm gonna walk on the golden streets. I'm gonna walk, talk, dance about. I'm gonna put on my golden shoes. I'm gonna walk on my golden shoes. I'm gonna walk on the golden streets. I'm gonna walk, talk, dance about. I'm gonna put on my golden shoes. I'm gonna put on my golden shoes. Yes, I'm gonna walk on golden streets. I'm gonna walk, talk, dance about. I'm gonna put on my golden shoes. Oh God is God. And he always will be God. Oh God, God is God. And he always will be God. He's God in the fiery furnace. He's God in the lion's den. He's God over the nations. And he always will be God. God is God. And he always will be God. Oh 
singing, glory to God. But we must move on, glory to God. And we are going to ask us all to be disciplined tonight. For that goodly gentleman was a disciplinarian, glory to God. So we are going to behave ourselves in the house of the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Saints of the Most High God, we are gathered here this evening as we are reflecting on the life, a life that is well lived, a true servant, a general in the army of God, a man of dignity who held to his integrity. He has made his transition to be with the Lord. A very well quotation in the Bible states, Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord, for they rest from their labors, and their works do follow them. It is with this in mind that I extend a warm and a profound welcome, hallelujah, glory to God, to our Bishop Reginald Mary. Glory to God. Come on, clap the man of God. He deserves it. Glory. Our National Women's President Evangelist Cynthia Mary. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Lady Barrett that is sitting beside. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Overseer. District Elder. Pastors and members of each assembly, other denomination, friend and well wishers, I greet you all in the name of Jesus. I welcome one and all to this national glory to God service, hallelujah, of our dear pastor, overseer Lenford Johnson. Glory to God. We will be taking three tributes from each assembly tonight, and we're expecting each person to speak for three minutes. Please don't let we have to stop you, so we have to discipline ourselves. Glory to God. And at this time, we are going to begin, hallelujah, from the far right. And this is Bunkers Hill, House of Prayer and Praise. They will be coming in the order. Glory to God. Put your hands together for Bunkers in. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Bunkers in. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Bunkers in, not in the house? Okay. Glory to God. All right. Let me move over. Bethel House of Prayer and Praise. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for Bethel. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Bethel is not ready. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, Bunkers Hill is coming. Put your hands together. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The wife. Of the district elder, glory to God, hallelujah. Come on, give her another hand, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, Jesus, praise God. Praise God, indeed, God is a good God, amen. Bless the Lord, Jesus, praise God. First, let me extend holy greetings to our Bishop, praise the Lord Jesus, Bishop Mary, and to Pastor Cynthia Mary, praise God, our overseers, district elders, elders, all other leaders in your respective offices, the bereaved family, the august body of saints, and well-wishers. Remembrance for the late overseer Lenford Johnson. A famous philosopher once said, and I quote, Death is not the greatest loss in life. The greatest loss in life 
is what dies inside of us while we live. Tonight, we pause to remember a life well lived. For Overseer Johnson did not die without making his contributions on this side of life. Rather, he opened himself to being a father, a husband, a pastor, a friend, a confidant, a law enforcer, a JP, and the list could go on and on. Over the years, I have been acquainted with Overseer Johnson. He had a very welcoming personality. Praise God. Having served under his pastorship at the Queen Street House of Prayer and Praise, he was a pastor that you would have no fear in approaching. His warm and friendly demeanor made you feel at ease relating any situation to Elder J. Even after leaving the Queen Street House of Prayer and Praise family, Pastor Johnson never ceased being a spiritual father to me. One of the things I'm truly going to miss about Elder Johnson is that each time we run into each other, whether it be church or any other occasion, he would always have his arms wide open each time he sees me. And he would give me a warm hug. And he would say, Sister Jody, how you do? That was my elder J. One of the things I must also mention about Elder Johnson was that he loved to sing. Yes, I can recall while being at Queen Street, we would sing at the funerals of various church relatives. Praise God. You could hear Elder Johnson's harmony ringing out in the group. He had a very melodious voice. And those of us who know Elder J can attest to that. Elder Johnson also had a way of making light of any situation. He had a humorous and a witty personality. He would always find something to crack a joke. No matter how serious the situation looked, he would find something to make us laugh. I remember when Elder Johnson joined the Queen Street House of Prayer and Praise family. He related to us that Papa Bishop spoke the prophetic word that he would complete the roof. Tonight, we can all turn our eyes up and we can say, purpose fulfilled. So right back where I started, it says death. Praise God. is not the greatest loss in life. The greatest loss is what dies inside of us while we live. Elder Johnson completed his mandate. So I encourage us tonight, against all odds, let us persevere and complete that which God has given us to do. At this time, we have a poem by Sister Marika. This tribute is entitled, A Man of the Great God to, over, to Our Dear Overseer Linford Johnson. A dear husband to his wife, a good father to his children, and lastly, one of my spiritual father, who I always loved and respect. One who is a disciplinarian and full of authority, a man of the great God, a man who didn't give up easily, one whom you could depend on and confided in, one who was, a hum who was humble, caring and loving, one who was faithful to the end, a man of the great God, one who will pray you through, one who cared about your well-being, one who corrects you when you are wrong and leads you in the right path, 
a man of the great God. We will miss you, Dad, a man of the great God. Sleep in peace, Dad, a man of the great God. God, God bless you. you. Praise the Lord, everybody. We are moving on now to enter the house of prayer and praise. Glory to God. And we are going to be asking, Evangelist Harvey is not here, but her tribute will be read by Missionary James. Glory to God. So we're going to ask all those that are giving tribute from Anchovy to make their way to the form just now. Put your hands together for Anchovy House of Prayer and Praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everyone. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Greetings one and all in the awesome name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And the Holy Spirit who is the head of our life. All protocol observe. Hallelujah. I'm now speaking on the behalf of Evangelist Harvey, who is not here. And we wish to you know, send our condolences to you, our beloved Mother John. So we love you so dearly. And you know we love your husband dearly likewise. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. So it begins from Evangelist Harvey. Memories of Elder L. Johnson. The scripture, John 1, verse 23, he said, I am the voice, mouthpiece of the one, Lenford Johnson, crying in the wilderness, Queen Street, making straight the way of the Lord. She said, Oh, fondest memories of our dear beloved Elder are some of these. The prior march in and around Montego Bay, Hart Street, Barnet Street, Railway Lane, Overton, and all the way back to Queen Street. Though he was not feeling well, he drove in the car, stopped at pivotal points, and joined in prior. He was in full support and agreement for the march, our national organization prior, every Saturday morning. It was a must. He will be online on time in total agreement to all prior points. Ha, mighty God. Men Conference would see Elder total support and worship. He was never been too busy to lend a helping hand or give a hug, mighty God. Giving a listening ear to all who want him to listen. Hallelujah. He depicts a memory like one another. He would remind and share with us some of his experience in other organizations about our late Bishop Evans, among others. Whenever you approach him, he would always greet you with a welcoming smile. Come on now, mighty God. That radiates the ear. Ah, she personally said it deeply admired his humility. Love his soft-spoken character, our elder Johnson. Hallelujah, Sister Harvey is greatly saddened by this passing of our beloved Elder Johnson. But on uh, confirming with the fact that uh, that are in Christ is only asleep uh, until when we meet uh, on the beautiful shore. Surely he has left behind some exemplary footmarks in his path of life. May we all take a page out of his book as we desire to meet him on the other side. The Lord bless you, mighty God. Hallelujah. Shall we praise the Lord, everybody? Shall we magnify the Lord, everybody? Hallelujah. Glory to God in the highest. Praise God. This will be our tribute, praise God, to Amen. Well, hold on, hold, hold on. on, it'll be all right. Oh, yes, cause joy comes in the morning light. All you gotta do is hold on, hold on. Just try your eyes. Cause it will be. It will be 
your eyes. All right, let's do it again. Well, hold on, hold on. It'll be your eyes. Oh, yes, cause joy comes in the morning. All you gotta do is hold on, hold on. Just dry your eyes. It will, it will be your eyes. Oh, there are times when you've had to cry, and there are times. But don't let go of his unchanging hands Cause I guarantee that God will be there on time Hold on, hold on, it'll be alright Oh yes, cause joy comes in the morning light All you gotta do Hold on, hold on, just dry your eyes. Cause it will be, it will be alright. And there are times when you wanna have why. Don't let go of his. Hold on, it'll be alright. Somebody need to know that joy comes in the morning light. All you gotta do is hold on, hold on, oh, oh, oh. just dry your eyes. I know it will be alright. Let me hear you say, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. No matter what it might look like, hold on. All you gotta do is hold on. Hold on. Just wait on him. Hold on. I promise he'll come through for you. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, yes, it will. Hold on. Just hold on. Hold on. Praise the Lord. And lastly, we'll be having a tribute in the poem, in the form of a poem. Praise the Lord. Our dear Elder Lenford Johnson, we knew little that morning that God was going to call your name. In life, we loved you dearly. In death, we do the same. It broke our hearts to lose you. You did not go alone. For part of us went with you that day God called you home. 
A life well lived is, is precious gift, a hope and strength and grace from someone who has made our world a brighter, better place. A life well lived is a legacy of joy and pride and pleasure, a living lasting memory or a grateful heart will treasure. With sad farewell, we say goodbye. Your journey on earth is now done. You have done your part, so, as, so a crown of glory you have won. It's not forever we'll have to wait, for we'll meet you at heaven's gate. We'll see again our loving elder at the home of our blessed Savior. In joy and bliss that has no end, we'll meet again our dearest elder, family, and friend. God filled you with many blessings. We praise his plan, for he knows best. We give thanks for his work in you. May God grant you eternal rest. God bless you. Hallelujah. Come on, keep the clapping going. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. What an encouraging song. Mother J. Members of Queen Street House of Prayer and Praise, let's hold on, for it's going to be all right. I just break at this time, hallelujah, to make welcome the presiding prelate of the International Apostolic Ministries, Bishop Agri Scott. Put your hands together for the man of a great God. Hallelujah, glory to God. And our General Secretary, Missionary Bent. Put your hands together. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We are moving on. Glory to God. Elder Johnson was encouraged by two quotations that the late Bishop, hallelujah, told him. And he said to him, we must think big. So, Elder Johnson just put it in, in his head and him just think big. Everything Elder Johnson want to do, it must be big. Glory to God. I wish he had more life. Or else we would have seen how big or big the things will be. The second quotation. We, hallelujah, we must think big, hallelujah, and faith in God is trust without stress. Faith in God is trust without stress. And he held on to that, glory to God. Didn't have a stress. The man don't left win and own debt. Put your hands together for the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. At this time, glory to God. I'm going to ask the sister of Mother Johnson to make her way as she will be coming to serenade us now with a song. Put your hands together. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Come on, clap the lady, man, as she comes. Hallelujah. Sing to the honor of God. Hallelujah. Shall we praise the Lord? Shall we praise the Lord? If you've been bound by the hand of depression and you can't seem to find your way through you have tried all your friends but they failed you I know someone who will be there for you. Oh, joy is coming through in the morning. Although the night was so dark.
never thirst again. He said, eat and never die. If you love him, just trust and obey him, and you will be loosed from your depression. soul and all that is in me bless his holy name hallelujah bless the lord oh my soul and forget not his benefits hallelujah praise the lord jesus hallelujah hallelujah first i must greet hallelujah for presiding bishop bishop scott god bless you sir hallelujah missionary ben god bless you hallelujah bishop mary sir god bless you hallelujah mother mary god bless you praise god i see our overseers bigford Hallelujah. I see overseer Beckford. Well, I'm not seeing him now, but all the overseers, our district elders, elders here, praise God, our evangelists, God bless you. Hallelujah. Mother Scarlett, God bless you. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Saints of God, I greet you in the mighty, miracle working name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, our soon coming King. Praise God. Hallelujah. And hallelujah. This is about. Um, the Thanksgiving service uh, overseer Johnson, but I want to thank all of you, saints of God, who prayed for me through my challenges. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So, brethren, hallelujah. I, hallelujah. I'm not going to take long, but February 1, I got sick. Hallelujah. And cut it short. I had a clot in the base of the right side of my brain. The valve in my heart about three of them were not working. Hallelujah. Praise God. The, doctor, the doctors gave me days to live in the name of Jesus Christ. Days to live. Hallelujah. And I'm here. Because your prayers. Bishop Scott, God bless you, sir. Bishop Mary, God bless you, sir. Bishop, hallelujah. Mother Mary, hallelujah. Praise God. Virgin, hallelujah. I, 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 when I breathe and you hear the blood coggle up and coming out, yes, I was there. Hallelujah. And it was a day-to-day -day situation. And I can stand up here and say, thank you, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah in the name of Jesus. 
Hallelujah. The testimony is for another day, but I must, must say one thing. Hallelujah. Because when I, hallelujah, I, was, I went into the hospital the evening, it was challenging. Right? And overnight, I was in emergency one because they were not finding anything. The good thing, I always do my blood work, so I had the results there. So I was deep downgraded to emergency two, right? And they did a, a echocardiograph. They said, this, they didn't know anything. It, it was really challenging. And I went to the nurse and said, nurse, give me something, I'm going to sleep. I can't deal with that one here, so. And she said, I must hold on. And uh, that I, I didn't know what was my problem, you know, because they claim saying they, they don't see any problem. Missionary Lawrence called me the evening and pray with me. Hallelujah. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He sent an angel that evening. And after she prayed, I went back to the, the nurse and said, Nurse, I feel better now. She said, Okay, sir. Had I gotten that sleeping pill or whatever, with a clot in the base of my brain, I'm not talking. Probably I couldn't be here talking to you all. That's God's first intervention. God's first intervention. Mission Johnson, stand up, please. Stand up, please. Please stand up. Yes, God bless. This young lady, hallelujah. This young lady, I used to be our minister at Bethel Town. Not my brain know that too, right? And when I was, it was a challenge time because when the brain, the blood not reaching her brain, it can be challenging. And she called me and she was telling me, she started to tell me about, hallelujah, an incident which basically, according to she, my intervention really changed her life. And then she started to tell me what is wrong with me. Somebody say, Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise God. And, hallelujah, I started to get hope. I said, God, you hear me. Hallelujah. I went to Longshot. Bishop prayed for me. Bishop Mary, they came to my house. It was fantastic. Really. But um, there was a large supper at Anchovy. And I went there. And because I know, hallelujah, this is one of the reasons I come to Pentecost. And I'm going to go there, sir. But I know there's a miracle work in God. Shut up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See me here. Hallelujah. Virgin, there time when somebody have to brush my teeth. I couldn't lift up my left hand. See there. Praise God. Hallelujah. But that's for another time. I just want to give thanks to our overseer, overseer Johnson. Praise God. You know, hallelujah. Even in my challenging time, because when your brain is working good, you chat a lot. I didn't even know that he was sick at the time, but I could call him and chat him. Mother Mary was another one. They never have, they never tired of me. They never tired of me. I didn't even know that Overseer Jens was that sick. He's a true man of God. Hallelujah. Brethren, the scriptures say, Be ye transformed by the renewing of your minds. Overseer Johnson typifies that. When I didn't know him, I was describing him. I just started, I was just interacting with him. And I was describing him to somebody, right? And he said, It's a policeman. He said, Policeman, so gentle. Right? You know him better than me. You know the peace. You know the gentleness. People with military training, you can spot them early. In crime fighting, you can spot them early. But yes, he was a truly transformed individual. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 Bishop Johnson, kindness. <laughs> Overseer Johnson, kindness. Praise God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Kindness. Hallelujah. He just called me one day. He, like when we're having um, if we evangelism, he's always there with the PR system. Bishop Myrie also, but sometimes Bishop Myrie. Because, yeah, you have, you're all right, brethren. Everything all right. Even the drum set at Mount Pelia. Hallelujah. Bishop Johnson just called me and said, I have a drum set for you. Hallelujah. Brethren, hallelujah. It, Bishop Johnson, Overseer Johnson, just talk. Him walk. He not only talk, him walk, him speak through his action. In, especially in the early days, hallelujah, we never have a pool at Montpelier. I could call him any time and say, Bergen, may have somebody for baptize. He said, come. I remember one night, we, a young man came to Bible study. 
it, and says nine after nine, right? And then come, you hear the word and say, Pastor, I want to baptize. Hallelujah. You say, you want to baptize? You say, why? He say, yes. Me hear what you say. Hallelujah. Question him. Um, missionary Stanford, just put up your hand for me wherever you are. Praise God. Hallelujah. She, God bless your sister. She always reach out to person and bring them to church. So the guy came with her. He said, call his parents and see if he can get his permission to baptize him. She called the lady and we said, I called Bishop Johnson. That would have been about 9.30. I said, Overseer Johnson. Hallelujah. <laughs> In the name of Jesus. I said, Bertrand, <laughs> we need your help. We have somebody to baptize. He said, come on. The night we came, that would have been after 10. His wife, blessed wife was here. Praise God. Elder Gibb was here. I don't, and our sisters, I don't remember the others, but I know they were here. We baptized the young man. Sister Heath, hallelujah. I, I, I've not seen her, but she was a lady, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody told me that she, wants, she knew her and she wanted prayer. And I called the lady and prayed with her on the phone, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. And uh, hallelujah. I preached Jesus to her and, I, and she want, I agreed to baptize her the next morning. I'll set the time before I ask me overseer Johnson. Hallelujah. Mr. Bridget, I have a lady for baptize. And hallelujah. She's going to come up there at 10 o'clock and say, Send her, Bridget. They even reached here before me that morning. But hallelujah, God bless her. I know she was in the membership here. Praise God in the name of Jesus. That's Overseer Johnson. Praise God. Hallelujah. Elder, elder, help my elder senior, sir. God bless you in the name of Jesus. God bless you, sir. Praise God. Hallelujah. Says of God, Bishop Overseer Johnson, love his bishop. In love his bishop. Hallelujah. Bishop, bishop. Bishop, Bishop Evans in the time, and now Bishop Scott. Amen, brethren? I'm not going to go into details, but I know um, Overseer Johnson love them. Amen? Hallelujah. I heard it testified already. God, Bishop say, are you going down the church? Look how the church nice. We, we know where we're coming from in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Somebody, can somebody just say, thank you, Jesus? Somebody just say, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are yeah, you going to do it? Hallelujah. Since I said, he said, think big. Hallelujah. And that's our brother. Brethren, teamwork. Hallelujah. Before I get there, I know that in love, Bishop Scott, dearly. Hallelujah. We talk, sir. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Hallelujah. 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 Teamwork, brethren, that typifies Ella Johnson. Praise God. He consults. Hallelujah. He's a model because, yes, he does not go alone. Hallelujah. And you have that gentle, persuasive, uh, hallelujah, personality. Hallelujah, brethren. He's not afraid, afraid, afraid to reach out and incorporate others. And we give God and give God glory for our dear brother, Overseer Johnson, in the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. <laughs> hallelujah. 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 And saints of God, before I close, hallelujah, I know where I'm coming from. So right now, I live every day as my last day. And as I talk to you today, this could be the last time I come at this podium and talk to you. Amen. Man did give me days less than two weeks. Hallelujah. And in the eighth day, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. And see me here. I'm an overtime. So you know already, Paul said, it is not grievous when you repeat it over and over. Treat it like the last day. Praise God. Overseers, overse this, this overseer Johnson, in live the race, in work, in do him time, and in what be sure action, in live what he believe. And this evening, in the name of Jesus, we give God glory, we give God praise, and we thank God for lending Ella Johnson, overseer Johnson, Lenworth Johnson to us in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord, everyone. Come on, we can do better than that. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. God is a good God. Let me honor the Lord. Let me greet Bishop. Amen. And Bishop, praise God. And all the Rostrum Associates and all the leaders, the Lord bless you. Mommy Johnson, God bless you. 
Amen. And each and every one of us tonight, well wishers and friends. Amen. So, as it relates to Overseer Johnson and myself, praise God, I remember I had started working with a new company. Amen. I was a security supervisor and I was, I was placed at Sunscape what we call Sunset Beach Hotel. And when I went there, I was told that the security manager is a devil. I was told that he has a wrong spirit and he's fighting against, because we were with King Alarm, so we were the contractors. And I guess the hotel had phased out the in-house securities and when the security manager came i guess he started to reinstate one and two in-house securities again so they told me you know new on the location i guess they were putting me on my p's and my q's they said this security manager is a demon and he's fighting against us and you need to be careful i didn't meet the security manager just yet so I was just thinking, of course, that's not what you want to hear. You're in a new location, and of course, you're trying to make a good impression of the people you're going to have to work with. And uh, since I had to report to the security manager, uh, it wasn't sounding good so far. So they brought me to meet the security manager, and when they brought me to the security manager's office, guess who it was? It was Overseer Johnson. So... <laughs> The person's pretty much, they found out now that we're church brothers. So, <laughs> I, I, it became difficult for me, amen, because now I had to, well, I, I didn't know why they felt as if he was a devil, but I had to work with both of them. So, I had to work with my people, and I had to work with my people. So I, I remember, you know, so just to try to make things easier for me, I said to them, listen, um, you see, Mr. Johnson and I are church brothers, but we don't really go to the same church. <laughs> you know, so I, I didn't mean it in a bad way, but of course, you know, I had to survive, right? And uh, it so happened that, of course, while working there, trying to make a positive impression because of course overseer johnson was a no-nonsense person i'm not tooting my own horns but i'm a no-nonsense person just the same and he knew that so he said we're gonna work together just fine so i remember the first night i was there on my own and i was manning the location very well checking on all my guards ensuring that they were okay and one particular guard, right before the night was ended, decided to fall asleep and let Overseer Johnson see him. Now, what I did wrong was I, I did not tell Overseer Johnson or Mr. Johnson as we call him at the time. I didn't tell him that, okay, sir, um, just for the sake of not making it look so bad i'm i know it doesn't look good on part of the company but i'm just going to keep this one down i didn't do that so i i didn't report the matter to to my manager and so mr johnson did and then it looked bad on me and then after that you know we had a few challenges here and there because it was difficult because he had his rules that we had to abide by and my security manager had their rules but one thing was for certain we never lost the fellowship i knew that he was my brother in christ i knew that we were family in god and i did not allow the job to separate the fellowship that we were supposed to have so we talked and we did what we had to do the long and short of it is that turns out that particular security manager and I didn't we didn't last very long. I don't know if 
my relationship with, 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 with overseer Johnson had anything to do with it. But we didn't last very long and um, I left that location. So a couple months down the road, I was talking to overseer Johnson and you know, I was telling him, you know, I'm not with the company anymore. And he said to me, guess what I did? I said, what? He said, uh, yes, yes, the same security manager, I banned him from the location. And so, not only I left, but he had to leave too. But you know what? Let me tell you something. All in all, I can say that he's a man that stood for principle. He's a man that know what he's about. And for the little time that since, you know, I've been in the capacity that I'm in, I would call him because, of course, as one of the persons that I report to, I would share stuff with him and just keep him abreast of what is going on. And he never gave me any bad encouragement. And I just want to give God thanks, just like you and everybody else, for the life that he's lived, the legacy that he's left, and may his soul rest in peace. God bless you. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. I greet our Bishop, Bishop Scott and Bishop Myrie, um, Minister Vidal, Pastor Vidal, praise God, and all the pastors and workers in the Lord. God bless you all. Uh, Overseer Johnson is a lovely, wonderful man of God. He has been coming to Bethel, assisting us when our pastor has passed. I remember he came one Sunday and he said, Missionary Barrett, what is happening? How can I assist? And I, we sat down and we have a talk. And I just, you know, give him a little understanding of what is happening at Bethel at the time. And brethren, he's such a kind person. From that time, he always make himself available to come up. He never forget to come. I remember there were some children to be blessed and he make himself available to let me know when, you know, to gather the children together. And he came that Sunday and quite a few, even some eight-year-olds were there. They weren't blessed. And Overseer Johnson take the time out to get that done. There are other kids, there are other a, a young lady to be baptized, another gentleman to be baptized. He said, gather all of them together. And when I come, I will do the baptism. Praise the Lord Jesus. So he has been very kind and very helpful to us. And we truly appreciate him in Bethel. I remember one Sunday I sat down and I take my phone and took a picture of him while he was at the podium. I just feel to do it because I just want to... I, I just want to remember him, you know, coming to Bethel. So I said, if I pass before him or if he pass before me, I have that picture to continue, you know, to look at, to remember him. Praise the Lord. And, and, and Pastor Beckford too. Praise the Lord Jesus. We truly appreciate these men of God. They put out the effort and the time that they took, praise the Lord, for the work of the Lord to go on. We really appreciate them. Praise the Lord Jesus. And... He encouraged me anything at all. I could call him, send him a text. He always answer. Praise the Lord. Give me good encouragement. What to do, what not to do, and you name it. Praise the Lord Jesus. So uh, I just want to give God thanks. It is, it is wonderful to have met people like these. Wonderful. God bless his soul. At the time I hear of his passing, I was saddened. Because believe me, brethren, I lost my father in 2020. And Bishop Johnson, the re how he relate to me is like a father. So just when I was getting ready to accept, you know, another father, I hear that he's, no, he's not here anymore. But to God be the glory. Great things he has done. I'm just going to sing one line of this song just to give God thanks. Help me never forget to say, Jesus, I love you. Help me never forget to say, Jesus, I thank you. Help me never forget to say, I could not make it without you. 
If it had not been for you, I wouldn't be here. Help me never forget to say, Jesus, I love you. Help me never forget to say, Jesus, I thank you. Help me never forget to say, I could not make it without you. If it had not been for you, I wouldn't be here. Bless the Lord Jesus. If it had not been for the Lord, we wouldn't be here. God bless you in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, put your hands together. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And now we are inviting Friendship Apostolic Church to make their way to do their tribute. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Put your hands together. Glory, glory. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise God, praise God. Let me take the time to greet, hallelujah, our bishop. Hallelujah, Bishop Mary, Bishop Scott, praise God. All the other pastors, glory to God. Hallelujah, saints of the most high God. I greet you in the exalted name of Jesus. Uh, Ella Kelly will be doing um, the tribute. But I just want to say, I do not have... A whole lot to do with um, Overseer Johnson because part of the journey was that it was Overseer Bernard, praise God. But since he came off the scene, bless God, um, you know, I, I, I could count the days when I would hear the phone ring and um, Overseer Johnson would just say, Elder Forrester, how are you? I just call to make sure that everything is all right. Praise God. And you know, sometimes you're down and you get a call like that. Praise God. It lifts you. Praise God. Praise God. As I said, I, there was not much, but just a little greetings means a whole lot. God bless you, Elder Kelly. God bless you, everyone. Bless the name of Jesus. Know where we are. Somebody just lift your hand and just wave them. Glory to God. Somebody open their mouth and just shout hallelujah. Glory to God. God bless you tonight. Bless the name of Jesus. We greet our bishop, Bishop Scott. God bless you, sir. Bishop Myrie. Glory to God. And Mother Johnson, the family. God bless you of the Queen Street House of Prayer and Praise. And we just greet all the Rustam Associates. My pastor, God bless you, sir. Bless the name of Jesus. You know, uh, I'm not, I didn't get any time, so there's no limitation on the, amen? Three minutes, okay, uh, just to make sure that we are in the right place, bless the name of Jesus. But for me, over to your Johnson, I've had, you know, as Pastor said, I've had a relationship with him and I've been part of the men's department and also the missions department, which he was a part of the directors of both of them. Bless God, and I've had many encounters with him. And one other thing I truly appreciate about him, he stays in touch. I say that he stays in touch. And there's always, if I didn't call him Monday, he would call me Monday evening. And it was not just a call. You know, some of us do that ritually. It wasn't that kind of a call. It was an interest in the church. It was an interest in the family. So his approach to the ministry was one that i could draw from you know and i give god thanks for him and all that he has left me with his commitment to the ministry he had a commitment that stays true so for missions you are gonna be on missions even if i had something to do he would always call me and he was giving me ways and means of getting past what i had to do so i would not miss the missions and that was the kind of person so he would encourage you and he would pull you with him. And I give God thanks for him tonight. Bless God. One time when I came in here, you know, there was a song that I started a song. And when I sat down, I didn't sing the entire song. And he said, Kelly, 
I'm sorry you never sing the song. And tonight I just want to just sing a verse from that song tonight. Bless God, you know. I'm not the best singer. But then the musicians make it look good when they do what they do. Amen? So give God thanks for them. Glory to God. The song says, It was a life filled with aimless desperation. Without hope, walk the shell of a man. Then a hand with a nail print stretched downwards. Just one touch and a new life begun. Barren walls. Ah, oh, God Almighty, echoed harshness and anger. Little feet ran in terror to hide. Now these walls rings with love, warmth, and laughter since the giver of life moves inside and the old rugged cross makes a difference in a life bound for heartache and defeat I will praise him Forever and ever For the cross makes a difference in me And the old rugged cross makes a difference in a life bound with heartache and defeat I will praise him forever and ever for the cross made a Rocket cross makes a difference. Oh, thank you, Jesus, and defeat. I will praise him forever and ever. A deep red for me and the old and the, the old. old. Somebody just lift your hand one time. Somebody, is there a weakness? A is there one weakness? Holy God. Oh, in the life bound for Oh, thank you, Jesus. And oh, yes. I will praise Him forever and ever For the cross makes a difference for me Somebody just lift those hands and just worship Jesus Glory to God, hallelujah Thank you Jesus, glory to God I give God thanks for the life of Elder Johnson. It has been an example to me, bless God. And I'm sure that many others, uh, glory to God, would have had that experience with him, bless God. And I take from him all that he has left me with, glory to God. He has counseled me in private settings. I might not say much, bless God, but he has talked to me and he has encouraged me. And I'm strengthened by him today, bless God. And I can stand here for sure and say, blessed are the dead that die in the Lord from henceforth and forevermore they rest from their labor and the fact that we are gathered here tonight in a memorial speak to that the bible said it and it speaks to it 
we are gathered here blessed are the dead and his works follow him into the presence of the lord and that's why we're standing here tonight somebody we give god thanks to overseer jansen god bless you tonight god bless you if you miss me don't come searching and if you don't find me you know that i'm gone if you don't hear from me don't come knocking on my door i'll be gone in the twinkling of an eye if you miss me don't come searching and if you don't find me you know that i'm And if you don't find me, you know that I'm gone. And if you don't hear from me, don't come knocking at my door. I'll be gone in the twinkling of an eye. If you miss me, don't come searching. And if you don't find me, Jesus. We are moving on nicely. Glory to God. It's Grange and Apostolic in the house. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now we are going to be going to Head Church, Waterloo Apostolic. Can you put your hands together? Hallelujah. Come on now, clapper. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. Shall we praise the Lord? Shall we praise the Lord? Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Great things he has done. Amen. I want to greet at this time and salute our presiding bishop, Bishop Agri Scott, Bishop Myrie, Elder Gibbs, all our overseers, district elders, our pastors, assistant pastors, all our leaders here tonight. Praise the name of Jesus. Mother Johnson and the children. Praise the Lord and the entire family. I greet you in Jesus' name. And all our saints and visiting friends, I greet you. My tribute this evening speaks of a humble, compassionate, and fatherly man a man who loved the Lord his God and faithfully served him I know tonight the tributes will speak of his commitment and service to the kingdom of God but I came to say a few words of how overseer Johnson impacted me in my duties I would many times converse with elder J and there was never a dull moment in our conversations he encouraged me in all my endeavors and especially to hold on and do the work of God. His humility and love for people was commendable. His commitment and service to the things of God was unwavering. His stories gave hope. His love for uprightness, honesty, and discipline, and how his rebuke and correction was done in love was admired. I admired how he respected leadership and to go a step further, not just for those in authority, but he showed respect to all people. He was a true reflection of meekness. 
What impacted me most was his smile, how he would be welcoming and warm, and also the fact that he endured and he trusted God throughout everything. Even in his sickness, sometimes he would say, I'm just trusting and waiting on Jesus. Just a little discomfort here and there, but I'm waiting on the Lord. His laughter was contagious and his hug was comforting. On August 28, he sent a message saying he's not talking to me because I came back and didn't call him. I replied, Daddy, don't vex with me. I will call you in the morning. A few minutes later, he sent me a photo of himself and Bishop Evans, now deceased. And on the 29th, another photo of himself, Bishop Evans, and Elder Beckford. He said, good morning, smiley face. Here's another. And below the photo, he said, getting instructions from the Father. September 28th was the day we spoke in length for the last time. Mommy Johnson was there also, and the conversation was filled with laughter and joy. Quickly after we said our goodbyes and love yous, I saw over three photos came in. He made sure to show me evidence of what we were just on the phone laughing and talking about. I remember his voice so clear, how he would greet me, how he laughed. The conversations we had when he came up to headquarters especially. He was the first, all, almost all the time, the first one on our Zoom meetings. And he had his camera on and he was ready for the meeting. I lost one of my father figure. But I thank God for his life and his ministry. I am glad I was impacted by such a humble man of God. May his soul rest in peace. And we will see him in the rapture. Let us just take what he has given unto us while he was here on earth. And let us cherish it. Let us take a page from his book because he was an exemplary man of God. And we love him in life and we love him in death. And we extend our love now, even more so, to Mother Johnson and his children in Jesus' name. Thank you and God bless you. Hallelujah. Come on, put your hands together for the General Secretary. Hallelujah. There's one voice that must be heard in Queen Street house of prayer and praise and that is none other but missionary Kavalyn Richards she's going to be coming now hallelujah and speak to us or sing as she's led put your hands together for sister Cov. glory hallelujah thank you Jesus glory hallelujah thank you Lord thank you Praise the one, Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. I'm thanking the Lord for being here tonight. And I've, we've had a good times together, Ella G and I. <laughs> Sometimes Sister Johnson would laugh at us. And I've, during our, the work that we used to do here at Queen Street, I had a lot to do with Ella Johnson. And he was such, as everybody said, a kind person and he's soft-spoken and, you know. And when the legal side of the, the church um, dealings, I had to do, deal with him personally to get documents from different places and even the title for this place and all of that. And to, having to meet with the, the, the customs and the collectorate and all of that to make sure that everything here is okay. And I'm giving God thanks for the times that he, he was willing. You know, I was in Santa Cruz. He was here. I would just make a call. And he would have things sorted out. And I want to give the Lord thanks for that. And I'm going to sing this song. <laughs> oh. 
Okay. <laughs> the song speaks about heaven. We read of a place that's called heaven. There, truth of God's word. The truth in God's word He hath given. How beautiful heaven must be! Oh, how beautiful heaven! the Lord and I'm certain we all want to meet Elder Johnson again in heaven and it will be a beautiful place. God bless you. How beautiful heaven must be with my handsome pastor Elder Johnson. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We are coming down nicely. Glory to God. I'm going over to Queen Street. House of prayer and praise. Put your hands together for those church. Glory to God. We are going to ask you to come. Those of you who will be giving tribute from Queen Street to come now. Hallelujah in Jesus' name. We praise the Lord. We praise God. We greet our Bishop, Agri Scott, Amen, Bishop, Mary, Amen, all Rastom Associates. We greet you in no other name but the name of Jesus Christ. Amen, glory to God. I got baptized in Anchovy at 2012. And when Queen Street House of Prayer and Praise is having any week of service, we always come to worship with them and that's the time I know Elder Johnson but when the leading of the Holy Spirit in 2021 for me to worship in Queen Street that is the time I got encounter with him and I just want to say that when I came here in 2021 realized that Kobe was going out and the church started to restore back. And so I know for Elder Johnson, if there's no other desire, he had a desire for the evening service to be restored. And I can testify about that. Because when church has concluded, I always greet him before I leave. And said, Elder Johnson, I am going home now. And he always says, Sister Beans, so when the evening service goes, start up back. And I'll just pat him on his shoulder and said to him, we will pray about it. And so, glory to God. When he died the Monday, I did not know because I was in prayer. But when I get off in prayer, there was a sister who called me and said to me, if I heard that Elder Johnson died. And I said no because I was in prayer. So immediately I called Elder Gibbs to confirm if he died. And Elder Gibbs said yes, he died like half an hour ago. And when Elder Gibbs hung up and we come off the phone, I could have hear Elder Johnson's voice clearly reminding me and say to me, 
Sister Beans, and when the evening service go restore back. I could hear his voice saying it to me. And so I just want to encourage us as leaders because it was his desire for the evening service to be restored. And so I am just encouraging us as leaders to seek the face of the Lord for direction so the evening service can be restored. Hallelujah, glory to God. Mother Johnson, hallelujah, we will have you in our prayers. Amen. And I'm asking you all to pray for the Queen Street family. Hallelujah. During our bereavement of our overseer, hallelujah, glory to God, Lenford Johnson. I'm just saying, may his soul rest in peace. Shalom. Can we just lift our hands and just say thank you, Jesus? Hallelujah. I know it's an unfortunate situation. Glory to God to us, but heaven is rejoicing tonight. Can we just exalt the name of Jesus? Hallelujah. Because he's worthy and he's worthy to be praised. Glory to God. I greet us all in the mighty name of Jesus. Greetings to you, Bishop Scott and Bishop Myrie, Elder Gibbs and all the rest of my associates, those that are leaders, I greet you in Jesus' name. To the family, Mother Johnson, I greet you in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And the rest of the family, may the grace of God be unto you all in Jesus' name. No, I have not known, hallelujah, I call him Bishop Johnson because God gave me that name, glory to God. I have not known him very long. It was in the period of COVID-19, I am a worker in the vineyard and my duty is to work, hallelujah, to win souls unto God. And I can, oh, I greet those that are on social media, we, we bear a very heavy prior platform and many of them they are there because Elder Johnson was also an assistant to us there so I greet everyone that is from Kingdom Connect the Secret Place of the Most High. No, it was in the period of COVID-19 that um, we met him where we had some souls to be baptized and in that period there were pastors that was saying they do not want to catch COVID though so they don't want to go into the water and I remember it was Pastor Birchell that gave us his number and said call this man he surely would baptize them and when we called Pastor Johnson Pastor Johnson said don't take too long hurry up and come with them oh glory to God hallelujah Jesus it gave great hallelujah encouragement to our souls because we have an allotment we make an allotment for souls we tell ourselves that at least 20 souls per month so can you imagine you have the other souls and know where to baptize them and i remember every time that we come pastor johnson would tell elder gibbs and they both will ensure that wherever the souls were coming from they would make themselves available glory to god to baptize these people I can recall there was a young man that I, I used to go to a certain Western Union and every time that I go to the Western Union, I would encourage this young man to come to God. And one morning the young man come to me, came to me and he said to me, I want to be baptized in Jesus' name. And it was in a period of time that it wasn't possible. And I remember I called Pastor Johnson and I said, well, I have been talking to this young man for quite a while. We cannot let him, hallelujah, not go down underwater in the name of Jesus Christ. And I remember Pastor Johnson, mighty God, he did everything that he could to get the young man baptized in Jesus' name. Glory be to God. He was very determined where the work of the Lord is concerned. Saints of God, I have had a friendship with Pastor Johnson, a fatherly
family friendship. I don't know how to explain it, but as I have heard the others came and they have said that his arms would be open consistently where you could come and you could talk to him about anything. I remember a period of time I was having challenges with my child. And I remember I came and I tell Mother Johnson, Pastor Johnson, and I said, I need you to talk to him. And Pastor and Mother said, all right, we're going to take him in the office. I don't want you in there. And I peeped through the little hole. Hallelujah, Jesus. I peeped through the little hole. When I looked, my son was in their lap. And both of them were nurturing him. Oh, glory to God. And because of that nurture, today my child is doing well. Come on, somebody, give God thanks. Hallelujah, Jesus. I write a coin, a little phrase that says, Humility is the gateway to grace. For God gives grace to the humble, but the, hallelujah, he resists the proud. Humility is the gateway into the grace and the favor of God. This man carries an exuberance of humility, grace, and patience. Patience so much that sometimes, hallelujah, persons would give him trouble. And I literally sit down and see him with humility and grace respond to some challenges. Mighty God of Daniel, that if I was the one to respond to them, I wouldn't respond to them so kindly. And it is the truth, hallelujah, glory to God. He was very calm and patient. In Colossians 4 verse 6, the Bible said, let your speech be always with grace. Caesar with salt that he may know how we ought to answer every man. I wonder how Pastor Johnson did it. Because some of us give a lot of trouble. I wonder how Pastor Johnson would take his time to deal with them one by one by one. Oh, glory to God. And I'm giving God thanks. The last encouragement that he left with me was when one of the young ladies from TikTok was being baptized in Jesus' name. And the day she came, hallelujah, and she stood at the altar and we brought her to deliverance. And I said to Pastor, baptize her now because I don't want to wait too long. I don't want to change her mind. Hallelujah. And Pastor said to Ella Gibbs, change quickly. Let us get her baptized. And when, hallelujah, she got baptized, he looked at me and he says, daughter, do God work. No, make nobody tell you nothing. Do God work. I need you to do God work. I need you to continue. You're doing a good work. Do God work. And that word stayed with me, children of God. This was a man who has led his life by example. He was not very loud. He didn't speak in tongues like some of us um, spoke in tongues. He would not run the aisle like some of us run the aisle. He would not do what some of us would do. Mighty God, but I sat down and I watched grace, Marco Shataya. I watch grace extended when this man come and stand behind this desk. The atmosphere change. It changes the atmospheres with the little songs that he would sing. And even in sickness, mighty God, he was still going and he was still doing one afternoon. I met in an accident, so my car is not 100. And mother and, and, and bishop would take me home. Glory to God. And I, I, I said to them, I said, I've never seen you guys argue. I've, had, I've been brought into private spaces with them. And I've never seen you guys argue. And he said to me, we give the world what belongs to the world. And what is necessary we give the world what belongs to the world and what is necessary. It does not mean that we do not argue, but it is not necessary. Mighty God of Daniel, hallelujah, this man have left a legacy. Oh, glory to God. Paul said in the book of Acts 
20 and verse 24 is one of my favorite scripture. He says, but none of these things move me. Neither count I my life there unto me. Hallelujah, dear unto myself. So that I might finish my course with joy. And the ministry which I have received of the Lord Jesus. To testify the gospel of the grace of God. I can tell you that nothing didn't move. Hallelujah, Father Johnson. Hallelujah, he didn't count his life there. Because even when he was in his lowest state, he was in Green Street. He was sitting on this seat. And he was still, I remember he got so low that he had to ask them to bring the mic in the seat. And he was still singing. Hallelujah. He was still doing my God. And I pray that tonight we are leaving with a fact. It is a fact. That he has left a legacy of grace. Humility. My God, patience. Hallelujah. The, the, the grace of acceptance. He was able to open his hands and accept the lowly. There was a song that God placed. And I know some of you are tired of this song, but Pastor Love sing. Hallelujah. There was a song that God placed in my spirit when I was going through hell. And I remember as I came and I sat there one Sunday morning. Mighty God of Daniel. And I could always depend on, hallelujah, Elder Johnson to do this. To tap into the spirit. Hallelujah, glory to God. And the Lord gave me the song and I never know the song. My God, and I only hear him open. They call him and he took the mic and I only hear. I will make the darkness light before thee. What is wrong? I'll make it right before thee. All thy battles I will fight before thee. And the high place God said I'll bring thou. When thou walkest by the way, I'll lead thee. On the fatness of the land, I'll feed thee. And a mansion in the sky, I'll teach thee. And the high place, God said, I'll bring down with an everlasting love. I love thee, though with trials deep and sore, I'll prove thee, even down to thine own age, I'll build thee, and the high place, God said I the darkness light before thee I will make a crooked straight before thee I will spread my wings protecting over thee and the high place I said the high place Oh, the high place, God said, I'm under my shataya, bring down my shataya, shata, hallelujah, mother be strengthened and encouraged. Be strengthened, family, and be encouraged. Bishop, be strengthened and encouraged. Those that were close, be strengthened and encouraged. For on that day, that beautiful day, we will see him again. By God's grace, God bless you. In Jesus name.
Hallelujah. Uh, good night, everyone. Greetings to Bishop Scott, Bishop Myrie, Elder Gibbs, Lady Myrie, all Rostrum Associates, all workers in the ministry, uh, all church members, all visitors. I greet you all in Jesus' name. I, um, I did not know um, Overseer Johnson for very long, um, but it may not have been many years, but there was quality in those years as well, a year and a half, but there was quality in the time. So I, I am happy, I am blessed um, to have the privilege to share um, my experiences with him. And I just want to share the two, um, my main memories of him. Um, first of all, we came to this ministry. Um, we were invited here um, by Elder Gibbs, who had known of my family's situation at the time. Uh, it was the darkest time of my life, ladies and gentlemen. And um, Elder Gibbs was pouring into us the word of God as he does. Um, God bless you, Elder. He always has a word for you. And I've, I've had many conversations with Elder Gibbs, and I don't remember ever getting his opinion on something, because whatever you ask, he will say, the word of God says. <laughs> All right. Um, so we, 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 were, we came to the ministry, my family and I, and um, uh, my expectation was to visit the church, and um, to be honest, it was a bad time. Um, I had my newborn baby in my hand, and... I was sick, mentally, physically, spiritually, I was a mess. I, I honestly, when I came in, had no intentions of returning. Something in my head was telling me to leave. I stayed, and I thank God that I did. Um, Overseer Johnson welcomed us, and I was surprised um, how warm he was towards us. He welcomed us, you know, he prayed for us, and um, after the service, he greeted us, and I was humbled that he, he had such humanness, like he, he just held a human conversation with us. And I was, I was humbled, I was amazed, and, 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 and I blessed the Lord, you know, I, I was happy, you know, that he did. And because of that, we returned. And on our second visit to the church, I recall, um, once again, he called the family um, to the pulpit, to the, to the um, altar, and he was praying for us again and I was standing in front of him and tears are just streaming down my face uh, and uh, I, I, he must have felt compassion for me um, as he prayed, as prayer was going on, he asked the sister um, to hold on to me God bless you sister Sashana and as the Holy Spirit led, she spoke to my situation everything that I was going through and I bless the Lord, I thank God, I thank God for that day and for that moment and for Overseer Johnson recognizing a need, listening to God and, and just speaking over us and, I, and I'm just, I'm grateful to be here. Um, I also remember um, that um, when he uh, blessed our son and he's a little, he was a tiny baby and I, I was handing him to him and the towel was all crumpled, it wasn't very neat and he took it and he did it so neatly and he took the baby and he wrapped him neatly and I thought to myself, this man is a father. <laughs> and he was just the most compassionate person. He, he was a genuine soul and his wife was the sweetest person to us, um, always looking out for us, always checking in, always just making sure that we're okay. And I, I, I thank God to have met Overseer Johnson um, and I don't understand it, I really don't. About two weeks before his passing, he was at Bible study and you know, he was ill, he was sitting. And you know, he called me and he had a normal conversation. He was not giving the sickness any recognition so much that I, I wouldn't mention it because he, he seemed fine. You know, I was very surprised when I heard that he passed. And, but um, I know that the will of God is perfect and will manifest despite our human expectations or desires. So, um, like all of us here, I hope to see him again. Lady Johnson, we mourn with you, but we bless God because we do not mourn like those that have no hope. And um, thank you for this opportunity, and God bless you all.
Hallelujah. Glory. We are touching down nicely. Knoxwood has just arrived, and so we are going to ask the representative from Knoxwood to come forward as they will be giving their tribute in Jesus' name. Put your hands together. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord another time. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I want to greet my bishop, Bishop Scott, my father, <laughs> glory to God, Bishop Myrie. Is my mother here? She's, oh. God, God bless you, Mother Mary. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Uh, our pastor, uh, Brown, he couldn't make it today. Glory to God because he had a funeral. Glory to God and... You know, we have to split the thing, Bishop. Glory to God. Glory to God. So he sent us down. Glory to God. Some brothers accompany me today. Glory to God. But hallelujah. I have known much about Minister, uh, Overseer Johnson. But all I know, he's a man of God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And we bring condolences to the family. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And my brothers and sisters just kept the faith. Glory to God. We, if we kept the faith, keep the faith, we will see him one day. Glory to God. God bless you all in Jesus' name. the name of Jesus all protocol observed but I just want to give a special greetings to Bishop Scott my son in the gospel praise the Lord Jesus you know in St. James I had two men friends praise the Lord Overseer Johnson and who is the other one? Bishop Mann. Praise the Lord Jesus. I love these two men with the love of the Lord. Hallelujah. It's good to be in this service, though it's a mixed feeling. Praise the Lord. When I spoke to Mother Johnson sometime this week and she told me about this, this meeting tonight, I said, I have to be here. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord. You know, I was not here during the first part of the year. And when I came back, I never got an update on Elder, um, Elder Johnson because I never expected him to be sick. Praise the Lord Jesus. And the same day that I heard that he was sick is the same day he died. Praise the Lord Jesus. Can you imagine how saddened I am? Not was, I am still saddened by the death. But as somebody said, we are not to mourn as some that have no hope. Praise the Lord, because if we keep our side of the bargain, we know that someday we will see him. His blood will carry me. Just to encourage all of us tonight. All the way. Lord, 
Take me back to the place where I found you. It's been so long trying to be on my
everyone, put your hands together for Lady Barrett. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. God is good to us. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We have come to the end of the first segment of this memorial service. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And truly, I was honored to be asked to do this part. Glory to God. We have heard so much about our pastor. But nobody said that he was a great cook. The man can cook, you see. My God. And the ladies of Queen Street will miss him dearly. For he's always cooking for us on Mother's Day. I tell you something, the last Mother's Day. I don't know if he knew that that would be the last dinner, but the man dressed in a prayer shawl, you see, and in girt himself, glory to God, and in cook the potato salad, all know the taste in my mouth, glory to God. Elder Johnson was in everything, every aspect of this church, cleaning, weeding, everything. There was nothing that was left for him will do. He wasn't that preacher, preacher, but he was a teacher indeed. And we have learned so much things from him. And of course, he could not have done it without his beautiful wife standing beside him. And so we want to salute Mother Jay tonight. All the members of Queen Street is saluting Mother Jay, the financial controller as she runs things when it comes to the dollars. And we give God thanks. But we are pledging that we will be going forward. Hallelujah. As we hold on to God's unchanging hand. At this time, I'm going to ask you to stand with me. Glory to God. As I'm going to be handing over to one of the generals. Hallelujah. And this is Bishop Reginald Mary. Hallelujah. Receive him in the name of Jesus. We shall have a grand time up in heaven. We shall have a grand time up in heaven. Have a grand time. Walking with the angels. Singing glory hallelujah. We shall have a grand time up in heaven. Have a grand time. We shall have a grand time up in heaven. We shall have a grand time up in heaven. We will oh, walk with, with the angels, singing glory, hallelujah. We shall have a grand time of in heaven, have a grand time. Praise the Lord. Somebody praise the Lord. Somebody praise the Lord. You may be seated in the presence of our King tonight. Take time out to honor the presence of God and his holy angel that he allowed to encamp it around us, the believers that fear him, the Lord. Give God special thanks and greeting to our presiding Bishop Agri Scott and his family tonight. I greet Elder Gibbs. Praise the Lord. Amen. All our wonderful men of God, women of God in your respective office tonight, amen, and for all viewers and all generals in the kingdom of God, bless God for General Secretary and all our directors tonight, musicians, and just about everybody who make it possible to be in this wonderful celebration Amen of our dear brother, friend. Amen. I just want to say there are so many good things about the man of God. And I want when I die, may the life I live speaks for me too. Even when I'm buried in the grave, thy life will still speak for me. Praise the Lord. To the bereaved family, 
my God Almighty, Mother Jansen, the peace of God rests upon you. Son, the peace of God that passes all understanding rests upon the family tonight. Amen. Praise the Lord. Ah, Overseer Jansen, my brother, my friend, we think if we were biological brothers, Bishop, and we both went to a doctor. Yes, we went to a doctor. Who you believe was the doctor? Jesus. And we run a test. And we would expect the DNA to say we are biological brothers. Yes? But when the test came back, the test was signed off by Jesus to say his gene, Russian blood, touched us. And now we are sons of the living God. Somebody glorified him. So I know that we were spiritual brother in God. Praise the Lord. I can't tell you tonight there are so many things and in the interest of time where we are coming from until the very last breath left his body. Praise the Lord. But we did have a good thing going on. Praise the Lord. Since Bishop Evans' place uh, for every Saturday morning prior meeting, I want to let you know from ever since it's been slated, if he walked up before me, he would call me on my phone and says, Brother Mary, it's time for prayer. If I woke up before him, I look on the thing and I didn't see my way, I called him and I said, Reverend Johnson, it's time for prayer. And we have that good relationship going on. Praise the Lord. Now, as a police officer back then and uh, as a old radical soldiers out there, we encouraged one another of what we used to be back then. I said I was a rum drinker. He said, oh my God Almighty, so I was a rum drinker too. So back then we was a rum panion. Praise the Lord. But in Jesus we become a companion in the Lord. Somebody give the Lord a praise here. Uh, you know, <laughs> Almighty God. So, he heard I sung a song one day and he said, love that song because that song reminded him. Amen. Of the great change that God can change any individual. I want to take an offering for all of us tonight. Amen. As you prepare yourself. Amen. Ushers, please make your way. And I want you to bless God while I sing this song for you. Uh, Elder. Uh, oh, you're talking to Bishop. Come and pray the blessing over the givers tonight. Amen. Please stand everywhere as we collect an offering in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord Jesus, we thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your favor. Lord, as we're about to call it our night offering, I pray that you bless your people. Pour it upon your people even now in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Are you ready to hear that song? I had lived a life of sin in this world I'm living in. I had done Forbidden things I shouldn't do. I asked the beggar along the way. Please could tell me where to stay. Where I could find real happiness and the love that you. Across the bridge. There be no sorrow. Across the bridge. There be no pain, the sun will shine across the river, and 
of God as I present to you no other person than our presiding Bishop Acre Scott receiving in Jesus name Shatarabha Hallelujah we magnify the Lord you may be seated in the presence of the King Hallelujah across the bridge there will be no sorrow Across the bridge, there'll be no pain. The sun will shine. Uh huh. Across the river until we get to the other river, will there be no more sun? For Jesus will be the light. There'll be no more sun. So the sun will only be maybe in the waiting room until we get to the next level. So we have to watch what we sing. Praise the Lord. Amen. The sun won't shine. But God, Jesus, will be the sun himself. Praise the Lord. Tonight, indeed, it is uh, indeed a privilege and a pleasure and a momentous but sad occasion, amen, to greet you all in Jesus' name to the august body of pastors and elders and leaders and deputizers of special mention, Bishop Myrie and Lady Myrie of special mention, Elder Gibbs, praise God. Amen. And the entire Queen Street family, uh, God bless you. Amen. And uh, I want on the behalf of Missionary Scott, amen, to express her heartfelt uh, condolences to you, especially in such a time as this. And uh, she regrets that she's unable to join. Amen. But amen, I hope I am able to do enough. Amen. For her. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'm not going to sugarcoat it up here. I am very sad even though I know way more than needs to be known for me to be happy. But the current experience is real. And so we have to be cognizant of the fact that even though we are anticipating the glory that shall be revealed, we still have to walk through the valley that we are in. Amen? And even Jesus understood and experienced compassion and grief. He knew very well he would have raised Lazarus from the dead, but he still wept. 
what a God. In all points, our example, our living example, otherwise our ensample. Praise the Lord. God bless you all in Jesus' name. I, I just want to share a few sentiments, praise God, and then we do something more. Uh, and I don't want to detract from Overseer J or Elder J, as I love to call him. Amen. And to salute Mother Barrett. Amen. Mother Barrett for real. And nobody take offense in any measure when she says I am one of her sons. I am her son. For real. When I was nobody, that lady showed me love. And by that lady, I'm speaking of missionary Barrett. Amen? Yeah. Stand up, let them see you again. When I was a teenager and poor, praise God, and nobody would take certain risks with poor people picnic, if I can dwell a little bit on the elegant patois. Mama Barrett, man, was one of her boys. She had no trouble in saying, try to do this. Take the car. Do this. Do that. Oh, Jesus. I remember that night, mother. I don't forget it. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. You see, when people have love for real, it don't matter what's going on. They're going to show it. And when people love people, it no matter who the people are. Lord oh, Jesus. They just have love. I don't hear the folks. She's a lover of people. That's what I know of her. That's what I remember of her. Uh, Mama Barrett. She would always split the case. <laughs> when we would go to Mother Barrett with a case, you know. Amen. Even her children knew not to play with her. If they were wrong, they would get the wrong. Right before all of us. I will not forget that. And I have not forgotten. Amen. I grew up with her kids, Paula and Mark. Amen. And her last baby girl. Praise God. We know them. Thank you for coming. It means a lot. Talk is cheap. Action is priceless. I do not, by the way, I do not want anybody to come and throw no flowers when I can smell it. So if you notice, we don't have even one petal in here tonight. Because Elder J can smell them. Praise the Lord. Uh, but we can speak of his wonderful work. Show love while you have a chance. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. We have two main things to do. Well, one main thing to do tonight that's left. I don't want to preach. I don't think we need a word. I think we need to do what we have been doing. Remember Elder J in a happy way. He was indeed a kind and genteel person. A man of character. Huh. Oh, by the way, lest I forget, Elder and Lady Morris sends their uh, apologies. Uh, they were on their way. They were en route. But Mother Morris, Sister Morris, didn't feel very well. And so they had to turn around and go back. Praise God. But they sent their tribute and they sent their love and let you know that they were thinking of you. But circumstances beyond their control. Thank you, Elder Kelly. For conveying that message we value it very much elder j was a man of character he was as you see him that's what you get he was a man of principle and i loved that about him he was a principled gentleman and i mean for real every day all day wherever you found him he was always standing up for principle and he would always call me but never unnecessarily. He, he always had a sense of the responsibility and the time and all of that. So LJ would call, he would share what he has to say, and he would always be looking for acknowledgement and consensus. All the things that were said here that he did, I know of them. Not by second hand, right out of his very own mouth. Hello. And there are many overseers, and we have had a few, praise God. But Elder J stands out as an overseer par excellence. He really did his job. I mean, he really did it. You never had to umpire him. You never had to be at Elder J to remind him. He would be the one reminding you. I don't hear the folks. Elder J kept his duty. He was 
passionate about the ministry. And I remember when I told him after the Lord had showed me that he should be the one to be the pastor. And there was a whole lot of hocus and pocus and hookus and hocus and this and that and whatever. Praise the Lord. And uh, Amen. I am the bishop. Let me talk. And he was obviously not candidate prime in man's eyes. But he was candidate singular in God's eyes. Are you hearing me? You don't have to shout and leap like a gazelle to be a good pastor. Oh, Jesus. You don't have to be soliloquent and grandiloquent and my God, you know, so oratorically exquisite to be a servant of God. Don't take we simply, you know, we have it like that. But uh, you don't need that to glorify God. What God is looking for is humility and obedience. He is searching for humility and obedience. He was a man who understood authority, carried authority with a unique level of humility and awareness of the implications of the weight that rested upon his shoulders as a leader. Elder J wasn't afraid to call me and tell me, sir, so-and-so is not behaving right. And I spoke to them repeatedly. And A, B, C, D, and G. And sir, what do you think? And we would converse and we would confer. And we would talk with Bishop Myrie and the other elders. And we would arrive at decisions. I am very proud of the fact that I did not get to consult Bishop Evans about certain things. And I am glad. Because indeed it shows that God was the one speaking to Bishop Evans. And that God, more importantly for me, is the one speaking to me as well. Because I did not know that it, it got, Bishop had told Elder J that he would be the one to do several things here in this beautiful sanctuary. Amen. Many years before I met him or had any mind to be here in Jamaica. I was minding my own business, thank God. Praise the Lord. But God have other arrangements for me. And I remember when I told Elder J, Elder J looked at me and said, Me, Bishop, oh Lord, I don't feel like I am qualified. You see, at that moment I told him, God don't call the qualified. He qualifies the call. God don't call you because we qualified. Get it off your mind. Hello? God don't use you because you're qualified. He uses you because he chooses to use you. And you are in agreement with him. Amen? He was so gracious. He was so nervous too in a sense, you know, knowing what it meant. And I told him, we are with you. I told him, I am with you. Don't worry yourself. God say, are you? Amen. See with me. I love Patois, you know. I can speak his pokey too. I don't hear the folks. My tongue can aisle up. <sighs> oh, praise the Lord. And amen. You know, sometimes I like to keep it in the dimension of, of our quick understanding. Elder J was a lover of people. He loved people. Because he understood that people was God's business. As Bishop Barnes of Brooklyn is famous to say, people is God's business. God is interested in people. This building is beautiful and lovely. But God isn't as interested in this building as he is about the souls that are going to come and going to be saved and have been saved and are being transformed. We are uh, really cognizant of the fact also that Overseer J was a workaholic Amen. When it comes to the gospel and when it comes to the kingdom of God, he dealt with everything very carefully and very meticulously. He made no major decisions without conferring, consulting, and making sure there was prior in it. Hallelujah. And I remember when Elder J brought uh, now Elder Gibbs at the time, Minister Gibbs, uh, and he says, this is my running mate. Those were his words. And he says, you know, he expressed his, his, his trust and what the Lord was laid on his heart. And I told him, okay, hallelujah, give, over, give Elder, give a minister one more year. Let's allow him one more year. And he never frowned, Bishop. He, he never, he understood where I was coming from. And he went. And Elder Johnson has always also been careful about my family, right? Because I have a family too. He would always tell me to greet Missionary Scott and the children. 
Amen. I, used to, I like to call them the gang, you know. And so he would say to me, always greet me, I always greet her. And he was always telling me when I need to go, what I need to do. He would always be giving me comfort because it would, whenever I am to go, I, I am sad. And whenever I am to come, I am sad. So I'm always sad. Praise the Lord. Amen. And so you have to learn to cheer up yourself. And so when, when, you, when you're leaving, uh, you know, down here, when I'm leaving here, I'm sad. And I know why. And then when I am to leave there, I'm also sad. And I know why. But Elder J is always there saying, Bishop, you have to do what you have to do. And your family is your first ministry. He's always there as a family man. Helping me to balance the thing. And not, not allowing me to feel guilty about anything I have to do. In service of the Lord. I want, amen, to encourage you saints. With very few words. Amen. I don't want to talk too much. I want to encourage you. Elder J served the Lord with humility, true humility. He served the Lord with diligence. He served the Lord to the finality of his breath. The last conversation I had with Elder J, amen, you would never know, as our sister said, you would never know that Elder was at his last moment. No, he's always talking uh, about the positive attitude. He, he's always speaking about holding on to his faith and waiting on the Lord. And whatever the Lord does, he don't have a problem with it. I would remember that about the man servant of God. Amen. I want to encourage you here at Queen Street to be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Uh, be strong in the Lord. Uh, engender those things that give you strength. And learn to stand up and be counted among the servants. There are many people that are critics. There are many people that find fault with everything. And all they can see is what is wrong. They can never see what is right or what is going right. It's always what is not good enough. Don't be among those. Let it become your character that you're finding a way. How can I fit in? How, how can I change something? How, how can I be a part of the solution and not a continuation of the problem? Are you hearing me? You need to find where you fit in and function to your maximum capacity in terms of your talents and in terms of your gifting. I want to let us know that better days are ahead of us. And we will remember the labor of Elder J with fond recollection. For this light will not go out on our watch. We are not going to allow the light that was started in Queen Street by any means to go out. We commit to this mission and we continue this venture in the name of Jesus. Ah, oh God, be encouraged. Never give up the fight. Never give up the fight. The fight is not going to end until Jesus is crowned. Hallelujah. And ruling, sitting on the throne of David. The fight will not end until all things are fulfilled according to the counsel of will, or the will of God pertaining to man. So never give up the fight. And that's one of the poignant messages and lessons of Elder J. He never gave up the fight. He fought to the end. And he did it with such grace indeed that you wouldn't know that the man was suffering so much. He carried it with a gracefulness. Hallelujah. Amen. We should be of the same merit and grace to suffer even in the pleasure of the duty. No matter how arduous it seems and how burdensome and challenging. The other thing I'd like to leave with us is to keep the light burning. And increase the luminous intensity. You know, tungsten and some other metals have this unique property that when electricity is run through it, it fluoresces. It, 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 it gives off light. And one of the properties that dictate luminous intensity in the metallurgic world is the resistant coefficient and the resistance of the metal. The lower the resistance, the brighter the light. Huh? And the higher the resistance, the lower the light that is radiates in some applications. What we need to do is to lower our resistance to the flow and power of the Holy Ghost in us.
that the light that is in us will shine with ever increasing brightness uh, hello somebody every one of us uh, have some resistivity we have some 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 attitude that opposes uh, the movement of the spirit of god uh, in our lives there are some elements of resistance in us amen we could be anointed till we glow in the dark we can glow a little brighter i don't hear any folks you can grow and glow a little brighter you can radiate a little more light and so I hear the testimony of the man servant of God the general of God that has gone home he's trying to tell us shine the light a little brighter turn up the pressure hallelujah on the forces of darkness can I indulge you to engage your neighbor and tell your neighbor don't give up the fight I tell somebody do not give up the fight tell somebody keep the light burning and increase the luminous intensity somebody has to know I am lowering my resistance that God can use me in a greater way how I am shining now is not how I'm going to be shining tomorrow hallelujah because I'm working on lowering my resistance to the voice of God to the word of God to the spirit of God that reigns inside of you and me we have an assignment Queen Street, we cannot give up the fight. We cannot let the light grow dim, let alone go out. Shut up. We have a call. God deals with us in progressions. Not because of his limitation, but because of our limitations. He could have made Adam built with all the knowledge he would need, don't it? Do you agree with me that if God wanted Adam to come out of the bakery of the earth with all access to all levels of wisdom and revelation and insight that were pertinent to his existence, that God could have done it? He could have, certainly. It's not, there's nothing too hard for God. Come on. Ha. But he never chose that. He chose to have us to learn through fellowship and obedience. So I encourage you tonight. Keep the light burning. And finally, there is something that Elder J did also. Which was very important. It is actually quintessential. You cannot go without it. Is that he passed on the torch. We are running a relay. So we don't end our leg until the other person holds the baton. Lord Jesus, have mercy. So that means we still have to be running when we are giving the person the baton. The man never waited until he felt that. To establish leadership at his feet. The man never waited until his eyes was closing to look at those that have ability to allow them the chance to work, to guide them in their jobs, to show them and to tell them, one of these days you are going to have to do this. And he prepared us. Did not he? Let me see those who know that Elder J prepared you for leadership and for work in the kingdom to just stand up and give a salute. Let me say it a little bit slower. Those that Elder J poured into you a torch, showed you, enabled you to operate and manifest in your life in the ministry of Christ. Can we stand up and give a salute? He affected you as a leader, affected you as a kingdom worker, positively affected you as a child of Christ. Can we stand up? You have to pass on the torch while you are running pass you know i love his leadership style i love it he don't appoint perfect people he look for people with potential and the attitude to learn and have the capacity to follow instructions 
and he tests them and he gives them the opportunity and they they learn in that dynamic relationship to trust leadership saints of god do not wait until you are dead to attempt to give somebody the torch a torch has been passed on to us here in queen street and we cannot let it fall we must not let the torch go out we have to pass on the torch holy ghost i'm going to ask all of us uh, especially those online god bless you we welcome you and thank you appreciate you and know that you are with us in spirit and supporting us even with your viewership god bless you i want us to take maybe 60 seconds if we can and muse on how can i never give up the fight maybe you're a sunday school teacher maybe you're the one who drives the bus maybe you're the one that is passionate about the track ministry and going down into the city and telling of jesus to everybody who you meet maybe you are the one that has the passion for the men's department maybe you are the one that has the burning desire to see young people express and share their faith in a meaningful way whatever has been deposited in your spirit now is the time to make full proof of your ministry queen street will be praying and iam will be praying and seeking god for who is to stand in the stern elder gibbs is doing a wonderful job he is manning up he is doing what he needs to do and the brethren are working with him and i feel very proud of that and i want to encourage you young people to continue to show him regard and respect and love and all of you here to lift him up and strengthen him we don't know what God is going to do. I am not standing here to tell you that he's going to be the pastor. And he certainly wouldn't want me to do that either. Amen. It would have to be that God says it needs to be so. Are you hearing me? But quit worrying about that. Take that off your mind. What you put on your mind is how can I not give up the fight? How can I keep the fire the going, the light burning and increase the luminous intensity? And how can I help to pass on the torch? Uh, hello, somebody. And so with that in our hearts and in our minds, uh, the great men and women are resting in the earth right now. I pass Papa Bishop every day and Mama Bishop and they are down there seeming silent as a lamb, not doing a thing but waiting on the great triumphant morning. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And Elder J is going to be there. Hallelujah. In fact, he's there already. I think they are high-fiving if they are alert in that conscious dimension. I don't know. I've never been there yet. Hallelujah. I'm in a plan figure right now, but in case. Hallelujah. Already, ready, ready. Oh, somebody praise the lord in this place if they are conscious i can imagine he and mama and papa bishop high-fiving low-fiving hallelujah and he's saying to bishop events i did it i did it i did it i don't hear nobody in the house hallelujah my god yes me and my bishop is up there singing a chance to keep i have oh jesus that one have me from a child a god to glorify i never dying soul to save to fit it for the sky there is a verse of that song that says lord help me to prepare a strict account to give we want that when the lord shall pull us up and carry us we can give a nice and a thorough account of how we spent the time but until then our hearts will go on singing until then with joy i'll carry on until the day uh, my eyes behold the city until the day God calls us home. There's a lot of work to be done in this city. We have great meetings to facilitate here. We have great work to complete. And I can almost tell you certainly, God has many of us in the plan. And we just need to continue in the fight. 
Amen. At this time, um, we, we have designed that we are going to bless the Johnson's family as a family, as an organization. And um, we gave certain instructions to our leaders and um, um, most of our leaders have responded to the degree that they can. And um, I want to invite you also to uh, be a part of it. And so whatever offering we will receive on Saturday, it is going to the family. We won't take it as a church. We're going to put it towards our love expression towards the family. I'm serious. And um, we're not giving any finky finky offering, all right? I don't hear the folks. Some of us have the money underneath the mat in the foul cube. Amen. Right where the egg lay. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Some of us have the money where the dog is. Amen. And so I'm asking you to go and take out some of that money. Spray it with little alcohol. Praise the Lord. And carry it come in Jesus' name. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I know some of us, you, you have some, uh, you know, some other monetary instruments. Maybe you have Bitcoin and, you know, all of that. Please translate it to the lower level people. Emma. Hallelujah. And, and, and give us some money. Amen. Amen. We are going to represent and we are going to show love. And we don't want them to spend any of this money doing anything that we should and can do. Mm -hmm. When Mommy Johnson and the other children Johnsons sit down after the funeral, they must say, boy, daddy, if we never know better, we thank God, say you're gone. <laughs> I'm going to behave. I'm going to behave. <laughs> Pray for Bishop. <laughs> I want that when Mama J and the other J's sit down after funeral. Not true. They must say, boy, daddy, you're blessed all when you're gone. Millions. 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 Some dopamine and norepinephrine and acetylcholine. Oh, please, praise the Lord. I'm going to behave. Amen. Right. Uh -huh. Stay there no laugh. That's why someone who had dead a heart problem. Eh? When your heart so thief. Don't stop on yourself, man. Look like you know when somebody baptizes in a lemon juice, as you take them out of lemon juice, you dip them in a crazy glue. We are happy people. I don't hear the folks. We can smile even in the midst of a sad situation. Hey Lord Jesus. Woo! My God, my God. You must smile, man. Let Mama Jay and Kirk and the rest of them uh, feel a little smile, don't? Elder Jay always had a smile. He always had a smile. My God. And the smile was real. Because on every kin teeth. All right. Evangelist Mary is praying a little harder for me. Amen. All right. Hallelujah. Amen. Do you know that God has a sense of humor? Yes. Where you think we get it from? Yes. Not only that, he says he will laugh at the calamity of the wicked. Yes. Oh. 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 I think God easy. Bishop. Smile, man. Cho. Sure. I never saw Elder J with a sad face. Never. Never, never. He always has a smile. I have a sense of humor. I am working on it. Sometimes it kind of gives me trouble still, but I am working on it. 
I don't want any sour lime people around me. If your face permanently a tighten and can't reach and yet. Amen. Might as well you cut off the nut. You know some people always a screw and can't tighten. <laughs> yeah, man. Same with yourself. A happy in the Lord. I'm thinking about the bright side. In the name of Jesus. Release yourself. Ciao. Aye. Are we all together? Yeah. Yeah. Are we all saying the same thing? I remember Elder J in a happy way. I really do. And I will miss him. But I know I shall see him soon. We're going to ask Mother Johnson and Kirk and the rest of the immediate Johnson's family to just come here. And I'm going to also ask all of the Queen Street brethren to come and encircle them. We are going to pray for them. We're going to pray their strength in the Lord. Can you bring a seat for Mother Johnson? Put her to sit, please. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. I need you. You need me. We're all a part of God's body. Stand with me. Agree. those of us that are here to support our brethren can you come close lay your hands on somebody's shoulder all of you touch and agree uh, where is elder Gibbs I need him close oh he's here let's pray for our brethren heavenly all of us pray heavenly father giver of good gifts comforter and friend oh how we need your touch again holy spirit rain down in mother johnson's heart and kirk and all of his brothers and other relatives and family lord jesus we ask of you the great comforter the prince of peace hallelujah our respite our hallelujah tranquility zone 
we ask you to comfort their hearts keep them and strengthen them now guide them with thine hands lead them let them know god almighty that you have prepared a way before them hey sha you have already orchestrated this moment before time brought about its manifestation it is in your hands all of our ways are in your hands all of our days are in your hands may you give mama the courage our dearly beloved mother inside the courage to keep on walking hey hallelujah her children their children uh, uh, the courage to keep on living and raise their family in the memory and tribute unto their father uh, hallelujah hallelujah uh, strengthen them to be there for their mom uh, like never before their own families uh, break down every barrier and idol uh, hallelujah establish against their lives uh, and let them be strengthened with might by your spirit uh, in their innermost being uh, satisfy every need every soulical spiritual hallelujah temporal uh, hallelujah emotional need uh, that exists in their lives uh, lord we pray for your hand uh, to be stretched out upon them uh, lift them up oh god carry them through the low moments uh, see them through the crying times uh, see them to the laughter uh, hallelujah and remind them of the good times oh jesus let their hearts be not over smitten with grief uh, hallelujah because of the glorious appearing uh, the anticipation to see him again uh, uh, for we shall know him as we are known uh, oh god almighty will be able to understand and identify one another let thy will be done and be seen to be done uh, take the proceedings of the day of celebration into your hand uh, let all things work perfectly uh, in absolute synergy uh, hallelujah and symphonic precision uh, let thy name be glorified let his memory oh god forever remain with us continuing to inspire us unto greater works in the name of jesus christ we thank you for supplying every need hallelujah and meeting every lack in the name of jesus the queen street family oh lord comfort strengthen and keep them you alone are able to see us through and our eyes are upon you for your continued leadership and guidance strengthen us all now give us the courage to keep on walking although overseer no longer travels with us in the natural world be a source of strength to us all now master as you are a refuge and strength in our fortress a very present help in the time of trouble and of need therefore we will not fear though the earth be removed and the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea let them be able to cry oh god help us to weep and to mourn oh god although be we do it not as those who have no hope yet still we are allowed to cry oh hallelujah knowing god that in the great eternal state no more tears will be allowed for there is no more need for weeping and loss hallelujah sorrow or grief it will all be passed away and we shall live with you forever and ever bless us now strengthen us all grant us grace let it be multiplied unto us according to the knowledge of you jesus christ may we forever press into deeper realms of your glory and come to the greater measure of the stature of your fullness be manifested in us unto wit god that we might shine the light of your gospel in this dark world this ever increasingly wicked realm in Jesus' name we pray in the name of jesus christ of nazareth uh, and before we leave can we all don't move from where you are just raise your hands palm to the ceiling cut his neck the lord bless thee the lord keep thee yeah. the lord make his face to shine upon thee be gracious unto you the lord turn his face towards every one of us and give us peace in Jesus' name and may we declare i receive it come on like you believe it i receive it in Jesus' name hallelujah you may go back to your seat hallelujah amen so on uh, uh, saturday morning uh, uh, 
Amen. At 11 a.m. we will be joined. Thank you, Ovis. Thank you, Elder. Amen. We'll be joining here. Amen. For the homegoing service and celebration of our general...